As you may already know, the Game Co. got a chance to check out Fan Expo a couple of weeks ago. We got the chance to talk to some folks at Ubisoft about some of their upcoming titles, like Zombie U and Assassin's Creed 3. Okay, well, we are at the show for the third time, and this is the second year that we actually have a booth dedicated to the video games. So we brought Assassin's Creed 3, obviously a big behemoth coming into the holiday season on October 30th. Yeah, Naval Battles are uh, brand new, obviously. Uh, the setup this day, um, we're going away from, uh, you know, the Renaissance and uh, Constantinople. Now we're going to the American Revolution with the Connor, uh, which is half Native American and half British. Uh, his name is Ragan Ugedum, for those who uh, for some good trivia out there. Uh, and basically, yeah, I mean, it's a brand new experience. Obviously, different setup, different character, different engine as well with Anvil Next. Um, so the game has been in development for the past three years. So as soon as the team was working, uh, basically work on Assassin's Creed 2 was done, they were doing Revelations and they were doing Brotherhood, just separate team. And then they were already starting working with research and developing Assassin's Creed 3 characters and stuff. Obviously, when you move out to a brand new setup with a brand new character, you know, we have historians working with us and making sure that everything is accurate as any other single Assassin's Creed game out there. Um, so I guess one of the biggest features, I just named them, you know, like the new setup, new character, badass character, by the way, uh, new engine working, multiplayer added in, and we actually are now releasing the game on Wii U as well. Uh, as you know, the American Revolution was happening on the east side of the United States mainly, uh, but there's also another parts of North America that was happening. So in Liberation, you play as Avalon, who is the first main feature female character in the Assassin's Creed franchise, uh, and uh, his, her story happens in New Orleans. So, New Orleans, Avalon fighting for his people, and you have Connor fighting for his people on the east side as well, and, you know, American Revolution fight on American soil, um, American sea as well, yeah. with the neighbor battles. So, I mean, it's a big experience, and very narrative-driven with the action that you know and the historical accuracy of Assassin's Creed that we are are basically famous for. Zombie U, just to give you, for those who don't know, it's set up in 2012 in London. There's this zombie outbreak happening, and then basically you're playing as one of the survivors. So the cool thing about the Wii U is there's two things. is that, first of all, you have the survival kit, which is technically the Wii, the, the Wii gamepad itself. So you can lock picks with it. You can scan the area for hidden uh, items. Uh, you can use it as a weapon as well. You can use it as a sniper. So there's countless modes that you can use. Today, we kind of limit it to, I think, two features. So it's the lock picking and the scanning. Uh, but a game like Zombie U has never been done before, you know, where you actually play as a survivor, you have this objective to go. If you die in the middle, you become a zombie, and then you take the role of another survivor that has to fight to yourself as a zombie and then continue the progression. So basically the game has, there's no game overs. There's no, you know, there's no maximalize or anything. You just keep going, keep going. So it was funny because when we brought it to E3, the Zombie U, there was this uh, station that it wasn't ever reset. And basically there was like 25 zombies waiting on top of the user generated, like the, the game generated zombies. So there was like 30 zombies hanging around and the guy was just fighting through the pot and trying to forget up until there was like two zombies left and they had no weapons, no ammo, and he actually basically does after 20 minutes he became a zombie too. I mean, it's uh, Marvel's Avengers Battle for Earth, so it's based on the Secret Invasion comic from Marvel, and uh, Ubisoft Quebec, our studio, uh, is working very closely with Marvel in order to squeeze as many, 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 you know, authentic details into that game, and so far, it's been an amazing response since we released it, since we bought it at E3, since we bought it, we bought it at Comic-Con, it's going to be at PAX, it was a games coming series, so people are loving it. Right now, the Kinect version releases on October 30th, and there's a Wii U version as well coming in the holiday season. You play as 20 different characters from, you know, the Avengers themselves to, you know, Wolverine, uh, the Scrolls as well, obviously, Magneto, uh, there's Venom as well. 
so people are, uh, you know, they're, they're loving it. And cool fact, yesterday Stan Lee came to our booth to play it as well. And who has this massive just horde of people taking pictures, video, that they want to have a glimpse of Stan the man playing our game. So we were very proud of it. And uh, it's a great game. I played it myself. Uh, it's a spiritual successor to Power of Heroes. Amazing body recognition, amazing graphics. Can't wait.